Dallas and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with the Washington football team. And this will make it into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 44, 44, Mike, Mike, 44. Hey, kill, 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 kill. SOS. Hey, 47. SOS, SOS, SOS. 44 is the mic, 44 is the mic. Check, check. Tackle, tackle. Prescott to throw it. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Prescott now. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Fighting through and he's got space. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a big play yet amazingly because of how far they had to go. They're still looking at a second down here. Second down at the 43-yard line. won't be enough to pick up the first a gain of two third and one chase young on the and this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz it wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers freed up the d lineman to make the play they'll try and run for it with and he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. First and ten at the 49-yard line. Washington territory now. Here's first and ten at the 49-yard line. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Right 
The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about the job he did there, crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Prescott. He'll buy some time right. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Makes the score Cowboys 7, Washington nothing. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taking it about the 1. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. down this one complete to Curtis Samuel and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield 23 yards on the play and the Washington first down Throwing on first down is Allen. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? down and they're going to throw with Allen his throw caught at about the five and he gets it all the way down inside the ten and mark him at the five Washington chewing up big yardage another nice game there this one goes for 20 so three plays already first and goal and they are wasting little time and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. try and keep it and he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown Antonio Gibson his sixth touchdown of the season and Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up he had the option to hand that football off I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision that was a heck of a run it certainly was and when you mentioned the option most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. A 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why, why I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Prescott able to hit his target lamb and he'll go out near midfield at the 49. It's a gain of 12 and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. 44-44, Throwing, Prescott sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. To give him nine yards on the second down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. Here's Elliott. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. 
That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. play fake looking for McLaurin and he's got him and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20 that'll be marked as a 27 yard pickup Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Now he's got it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second down and goal. Allen, they'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Shotgun snap to Allen, eluding the pressure right. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. This is Tony Pollard. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. They'll run with Elliott. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. They keep on the ground with Elliott. They'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle.
The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Prescott from the gun. Flushed out right. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 13. It's a first down. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there. And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Taken about seven yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Out there, set ready for this next drive. The Washington offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing, but in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and he's going to get this inside the 30. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Here's Allen on first and ten. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked by the rookie from Bama, Trayvon Diggs. And now look at him go. 20. It's sad that baby, I do it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Reserve line now for the PAT.
It's good, and it's 21-10. So we've hit halftime on Turkey Day here in Dallas. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Play fake here on first down. Allen hit. He lost the football. Late. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. From the gun, it's Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Allen. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Marcel Darius flies in at 331 pounds for the sack. And it's fourth down. Here's Tressway now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Fielded at the 43. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Washington territory. Ezekiel Elliott. Give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They go to Elliott again. And he's 
going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 42. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Fourth down. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. Here's Prescott. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 11 yards there, first down. First down. Just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with it or he has to be passed off to another defender. So, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Right. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Allen on first and 10. He'll find Gibson here complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. To throw again on second down, Allen. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down. From the gun, Allen. 
Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. A big run that time by Elliott, 43 yards. At the six-yard line. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Now Elliott. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. On second down, it's Pollard. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Washington 10. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Now, this game went off the rails early for them and never really got back on track. And these fans, they were expecting to be on the other side of the scoreboard. But that is not the case as we play on here in this fourth quarter. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. It's a pickup of Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 31, Allen. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Kyle Allen sack. A loss of seven yards. It's third down. Third and 11. Throwing his Allen on third. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 36. And this one will be brought back to the 22. And this is a situation where defensively, Brandon, you're going to be so excited. It's getting late. You've got the lead. No reason to not just pin your ears back and go. Bring the pressure. And here they hit him as he's releasing the football, and that's going to help lead to the interception. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Elliott. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. He might have gotten a yard down to the 16. The 16 yard this defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? 
What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and three. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. A Cowboy first down there. Prescott to Gallup. This one down to about the 10 yard line. Credited with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Now, second and nine from the 10. Prescott to throw it. Flush to his right. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. The Cowboys on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and nine. Mike, Mike, 44. Here we go, 47. Check, 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 check. 44 is Mike, 44 is Mike. Prescott now. Eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Cowboys trot out Greg Zerline from the right hash here. Should be an easy one. Zerline's kick is up and through, and their lead will swell up to 28. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Taken about seven yards deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. 21 yard line. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Slings this, and got his man complete! And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. They give him a gain of 38. At this First stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Throwing on first down is Allen. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. 11 on the play. First down, Washington. Get 
Allen now on first down. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Randy Gregory able to record his fifth sack of the season. Throwing on second and long. Allen. That'll be taken in by Demir Bird. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Operating from the gun, Allen. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And this game just illustrates how important home field really is. On paper, didn't look like much of a matchup, but now it's looking like it'll become one of the big surprises of the weekend. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. That's it, that's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Still nine remaining on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Elliott. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. throw is Prescott letting one fly deep for Cooper and that will be incomplete well they weren't scared to let it fly but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down that's an excellent job right there on third down like any defense you never want to let them get anything started and that would have been a first down instead you saw the contact on time no penalty and before this drive could get wings it's fourth down It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. This one certainly has not gone according to script. You would have thought on paper that this offense would have its way here, but they certainly have not, and they trail big. After this, it figures to be a quiet trip home. Now throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, his fourth touchdown on the year. And Washington able to cut into that deficit. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he gets into the end zone. We'll give him credit. They're not going to take this deficit lying down. They get too closer here on the fake extra point. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now Pollard. 
And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. We have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. run past the 30-yard line there. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. Now Elliott. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It's a gain of four, and that should just about seal the deal. Well, Prescott here to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. On the counter, Elliott. Space to maneuver at the 40. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he's going to get this all.